Yo, one, two, one, two. Yeah. One. Sorry for that one minute delay. Just talk it out, just talk it out. I'm your yeah. instigator slash moderator, Dawn Marat. This is Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, to my sir. right, my man Pyro the Fireman. Yo, yo, Pyro, we in the building. Super Bowl Sunday, number 50. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Oh, no doubt. We got scars on, man. We're going to talk to Mark LeBron about this heat, man. <laughs> he has died. Yo, live from Bedford Stuyvesant. It's the liveest one, y'all. I want to give a special shout out to my youngest son. 12th birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Happy sir. birthday. Adriel the Natural. Yo, 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 yo. What it do? I want to give a special shout out to the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. Hoping for a really good show tonight, man. Well, why don't we, why don't we just stay there? <laughs> yes, first of all, we want to congratulate Cam Newton. Yeah, yeah. Getting that MVP. Yes, sir. Yep. So let's start it off, man. Who you got? Um... We, you gonna start with me? Yeah, you the first one says, son, dad. Man. Listen, man, this is this is this is a. I, I hope I'm hoping for a good game. I'm hoping for a close game, but I think um, Carolina's gonna pull it out. But it's making me a little bit nervous that I think uh, damn near the whole world thinks Carolina's gonna pull it. I'm out. sorry, I wasn't. Specific. I need scores. Scores. Twenty eight. Twenty one is what I'm hoping for. Wow. Natural. Um, this is. I got a lot of things to say about. First of all. <laughs> Judging from the coverage of the Super Bowl, you would have think Carolina would done won this game by 30 points already. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy. I don't even know who the rest of the Denver Broncos are. You understand? <laughs> it's all Cam Newton, all his team. Um, everybody's picking Carolina, which is very, very dangerous. I think people are really underestimating this Denver Bronco defense because the only time they talk about the Denver Broncos, they talk about Peyton Manning when Peyton Manning's already acknowledged that he's just a supporting cast member on this team. He is not the end-all, be-all for the team like he usually is. So people keep underestimating this Denver Broncos defense. So I think we're going to know if this game is going to be close by how much pressure they could get on Cam Newton in the first quarter. Then we're going to know if it's going to be a close game. But um, off the top of my – you know what's crazy? My head says Carolina, but my gut says I think Denver's going to win this game. Wait, wait. So I need a score, man. I need a score. Huh? I need a score, brother. Um, I'm saying 23-17 Denver, man. Oh. Ooh. I like it. I'm not mad at that, brother. P.S. Man, yeah, um, he up to something. I don't trust him. I don't. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I, don't, I don't trust him on that. We gonna get back to that. Yo, later. I could. Sw- he he I could up sw- to something. It, it could be thirty nah, to seventeen, Carolina. I, I know man. exactly what's going on. I talk to you uh, with the cameras <laughs> off. God. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm kind of nervous about this one. I was nervous since it's, since they both. Um, when I knew they was gonna play, but now I'm real nervous because the natural pick, the team. Like, <laughs> like, oh, oh God, yeah. turn that down. Like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. That. Hold, well, guess what? If you would have picked the same team I picked in the finals last year, you'd have been right. Oh, too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, so you should Early. be ecstatic that you picking the oh, same team. Right, right. Right. And if you would have picked the same team, I said it was gonna have a better record this year between the Knicks and the Lakers. Wait, wait, let's let's. Oh, you would be right. Come on, <laughs> yeah, stop, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was weak. Yeah, that yeah, was weak. shots fired. Well, but anyway, but anyway, like I was saying. Every, like he said, everybody picking Carolina. Carolina is a better all-around team, defensively and offensively. Defensively, the Broncos is unmatched to me right now in the NFL. But we all know Peyton was struggling this year. They struggling, but something just tell me, man, this dude gonna ride off into the sunset. I can and, see and, that. And get this, get this. And I kind of, to be honest, I kind of want him to win. I won't be mad if Denver won. Yeah. I'm picking them like. 28, like close, like 28, 27. It's gonna be a close so, game. So are you one of those fans that's like? Cam, Cam has another shot. This is his last. This is uh man his last hoorah. Uh, nah, Cam can get nah, it next nah, year. Nah, nah, I mean, let's keep it 100. I want Cam to win. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be mad if he won today. I want that black man to win that Super Bowl today. But I know the shade people are going to throw at Manning if he lose another Super Bowl. And he's not one of them quarterbacks to me who um deserves that. Like, he don't deserve that. Well, like, I'm real, I got Cam in the Panthers 31-24. But if it's close... Anything can happen, but you just said something. Um, damn, what you just said? The man? legacy. The legacy. The legacy. Yeah. How does that affect if he loses? Does that affect his legacy? Does it? Is I mean, he, does he move up if he wins? Does he go down if he loses? If he if he wins today, his legacy definitely will jump. He went to the Super Bowl with two different teams. What like twice with two different teams? That's something that who can say that? But if he loses another Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna his name is not gonna be mentioned on the same tier with the. Brady's and uh, Montana's and all that. But to me, he's just as good. Like, to me, Manning is all-time great. You know what I'm saying? It's just 
The dude is he old, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Father Time is undefeated, but I think he got one more last game in him. Pyro, he takes a hit. Well, see, the, the, see, that's the problem for me with the Super Bowl. That's the only problem for me. I think it's a good Super Bowl, but I usually like to, to dislike somebody going into the game. And, like, I'm going for Carolina, but I can't be mad if Peyton Manning right, won right, and right, got right, this right. legacy. But does it affect his legacy? Yeah, it affects his legacy, man. Because a, a little bit. He 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 has this title, the greatest regular season quarterback. Right, right. I don't know mm -hmm. if you want to be That's known as that. This is a definite shot. Yeah, so like he need to win this. Like, what would his record be? One and four? If, one, if, one and three. One and three. One, one and three. 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 If, one, if, three. If, this if, is fourth one. Yeah. yeah, this is fourth one. So it'd be one and three if he lost this. So he I th he needs to win this, man. He he needs That's to win this one. But you can't take away going to four Super Bowls, the career he's had, the touch, all the records he got. That's off the chain, but you will affect your legacy in terms of winning rings. Yes. Natural. Um, here's the thing about Peyton Manning. Let's just be real. This version of Peyton Manning is like Trent Dilfer in 2000 <laughs> with the Baltimore Ravens. Like, he's really not going to be the reason why they win the game. He can only be the reason why they lose the game if he turns into a turnover pro machine like he's been most of the regular season. So... All Peyton Manning has to do is just don't turn the ball over, and Denver is going to have a good shot to win this ball game. You question know I mean? to you, question. You, you compare him to Trent Dilfer. To me, th this is the question. If the game is close, game is close, and um, Broncos got one drive, and it was Trent Dilfer, would you have confidence in Trent Dilfer? No, I wouldn't have confidence in Trent Dilfer, but how many game-winning drives has Peyton Manning had this season? <laughs> like, I'm talking about this version of Peyton Manning. He still has the brains. He's still the coach on the field. But me personally, I like the fact that Peyton Manning is a supporting cast member. That means he's not going into the Super Bowl with all this pressure because we know Peyton Manning folds under pressure. Good. That's a, that, that's a good point. Let me ask you a question. No script. You're the coach. Yes. Manning throws two early picks. Are, we, are you bringing in Brock? Um, I think we got to do it like how he did it when he brought Peyton in when he was the backup for the first time in his career. Yeah. Just reassess things at halftime. Right. You know what I mean? Because those two interceptions are going to be big. You don't got no right. time to worry about people's feelings or whatever. You're trying to win the Super Bowl. So definitely I think there's going to be a leash for Peyton if he turns the ball so, over early. So you're saying let him at least get the half. Yeah, let him get the half. Let him get the half. You And you want it because <laughs> the thing is, Peyton Manning's not going to come from behind to help you win a game. He right. doesn't have the arm. He's not as dynamic as he used to be. So you might as well go with the young kid, the wild card, some, somebody that you know Carolina hasn't necessarily prepared for, right. and just see what happens. Because if they go down by two touchdowns, they're not winning this so, game with Peyton so, Manning. But, but, so, but how does it affect his legacy if he loses? Um, you think it doesn't one way or the other? I, I, I think he'll still be known as the greatest regular season quarterback. The thing is, if he wins... In my estimation, it's not going to be because of him. Listen, winning can only help, but I don't see it tilting the scales either way, win or lose. I think Peyton Manning already is one of the greatest of all time. Top five, in my opinion. He's just not better than, better than guys who consistently win. P.S., you shook your head when he was first. <laughs> That's just crazy to me. Like, you would take Peyton Manning. Basically, you would take somebody out the kitchen and throw somebody else in the fire. Like... But what if Dude, you're getting burned already? But, like, Listen, but, Peyton but Manning is, cannot throw the ball down but, the field, but what I'm saying man, That's is, real. He could throw two interceptions, and they could still be down one touchdown. It I said if on, they're down by two touchdowns, they're not coming back. Then you're not coming back. Then you're going to throw in this young dude with all this pressure in the Super Bowl. Like, what do you have you to lose at that point? What do you have to lose? Let, one thing I you're know already Peyton, down. One thing I know Peyton is not going to get rattled. Well, I know. I know he's not going to get rattled. you throw two interceptions, nah, you're he's being not He made a mistake. In I've the seen, Super Bowl. I've seen Peyton throw an interception and lose a Super Bowl. Not because he was rattled. He made a mistake. i seen Tom Brady make mistakes two weeks ago. They human. But I don't know what that young dude going to do. I throw him in but the Super Bowl. Exactly. Down. That, but that exactly. could be. Exactly. That's not what you do to They're people. not prepared. You don't do that. Not when you got You ain't worried about five. Peyton's feelings in the Super Bowl. You're trying to win. All I know is before Peyton got to Denver, we haven't seen him in the Super Bowl for a minute. Spe speaking of hurting um, people feeling, just, just something I want to touch on real quick. What y'all think about um, Rodney Harrison's comments about Carolina should take out... Uh, Great segue. That was hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was hot. Carolina should take out Cam Newton knees. Take him out. It could be the difference between winning and losing in Super Bowl. I mean... Out of bounds or not? I mean, it's, to, to actually say it is out of bounds, but knowing Rodney Harrison and the kind of player he is... It's just like Charles Barkley saying wild stuff. You take it with a grain of salt because that's how those guys are. He's always been outspoken on and off the field. So 
I really don't think too much of it, but if a Denver Bronco player were to say it, then I think it would have been a little crazy. Yeah, well, this is the same guy who got um, caught with steroids. So, you know, uh, he's, a wild, he's, he's a wild boy. He's a dirty player. He's so, a wild boy. You know, but um, also, they the Hall of Fame came out, and uh, T.O. didn't make it. Disrespectful. What y'all think? He, he should have been a first ballot or, yes. or not? Nah? Disrespectful. Listen, um, the thing about Terrell Owens is, me personally, I've never seen a more physically gifted athlete at the wide, wide receiver position than T.O. This boy was dynamic. Like, there was no game plan to stop Terrell Owens. He could go across the middle. He could go deep. You could give him end arounds. Whatever you want to do, line him up anywhere. He was just so physically gifted. Like, he just dominated the competition. So, unfortunately, a lot of his antics is the reason why he's not a first ballot Hall of Fame. Listen, there's no... There's no shame in that. Michael Irvin wasn't a first ballot Hall of Fame. I just think they have this weird thing with wide receivers. But to me, I know I'm, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I think in all the years I've been watching football, that's just me personally watching football, Terrell Owens is the second greatest wide receiver I've ever seen in my life. Wow. 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 Number two. And he learned He learned from number one, Jerry Rice. Yeah. See, you go. I mean, yeah, I, it's, that's totally disrespectful for them not to – let me put it like this. T.O., he didn't get in the Hall of Fame, just like he said, because a lot of his off-the-field off the nonsense. A lot of it was nonsense. But the last I checked, you get in the Hall of Fame based on your play. Right. I don't want to hear he wasn't a good teammate. Yo, because there's a lot of teammates who do respect him, who, who do like him. As far as his play, like, come on, man. Like, who was better than him in his era? Name, I want somebody to name somebody who was better than him in his era. That dude, when he was on the 49ers, he was a problem. And that's for, like, all Eagles, that. he was a problem, too. Yeah, yo, Eagles. like, he, yeah, the Eagles, when he got to the Eagles, that's what they had. Yeah, they went to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That, but people, all people want to remember is the friction that was between him and McNabb. Or the, yo, I don't have time for people's feelings. What did you do on the field? He get busy on the field. He should be in the Hall of Fame. First ballot. One, He was one vote. Shot right? Something like that. Yeah, that's like I it was just, planned. It's yeah, like they I mean, sat down I mean, and he'll, he'll get in. He'll get in. You he'll, can't deny. And his numbers, if you look at his numbers compared to Jerry Rice, he's second to Rice in all those major categories. Yeah, so man, like, that's that's a no-brainer right him there. Him not man. making it was just punishment for his off-the-field antics. That's all. But Because he's definitely, there's no question, first ballot Hall of Fame numbers. No question. Well, listen, before we bring our special guests in, we got to talk about last night's game. Oh, last man. night's basketball show. That was my, I ain't going to lie, that was my Super Bowl last yeah, night. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. Couldn't wait for that. OKC versus Golden State, man. Pyro, what's your thoughts, man? Here's my thoughts on that. Um, first of all, OKC has the athleticism, the athletes to keep up with Golden State. They showed it last night. I don't know if they'll be able to beat them four games in a playoff series, but finally, finally a team. That lived up to the hype a little bit. That was a scare, right? I don't really like the moral victories. They lost. They, they, they came up short, but they was down by 18. They showed me something in that game. Abaka, good matchup for Green. Uh, Russ Westbrook, Steph, Steph can't guard him. Early, they had to switch yeah. off. They had to switch him off him. You know what I mean? They always so, switch off, though. They, oh, they, yeah, they always do that. But I, I, I enjoyed the game just for the fact that finally there's some competition, man, and, and we don't just have to hand Golden State the, the damn trophy right now. You know what I mean? Well, naturally, you know I'm going to save you for last. So, P.S., you up. Yeah, I mean. What, you, what was your me, takeaway? Takeaway for what I, like I said, I, I watched the first half of the game. I even watched the second half. But for what I saw, like he said, they definitely could keep up with them. But I knew that coming in. Like, to be honest, the teams, I'm a, you have – Golden State, San Antonio, OKC, Cleveland. Those are the top tier teams in the NBA. To me, when I saw San Antonio, I said it. I was like, yo, I don't. I, for what I thought, what I thought is not what I saw. Athletically, they not even on the same page. OKC is. But now, it comes down to playing smart. This is where you're going to have a problem with OKC. OKC has the talent to beat any team in the NBA. Why don't they? Please, somebody. I mean, I got they? two words for they you. Don't Russell and, West. And, but I have why. to. It can't just be. I can't Look. play with you. <laughs> I can't play with you for eight, seven, eight years and continually allow you to just make uh, mistakes just, and me not say nothing when I'm better than you. Russell, go shoot. I can't you, do that. Go shoot, Russell. You I shoot. can't do that. I'm gonna move to the You side. saw. Y'all you put, saw last night how great Durant is. Y'all put entirely too much blame on Russell Westbrook. A lot of for this real, is man. Kevin Durant for too. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He has Russell Westbrook on his fantasy team, folks. <laughs> Yo, I just want y'all to know that. But besides that, it's Kevin Durant. 
he stands there and watch. Like, they take turns. He they does. do yeah. take turns, and they stand there. When he's seeing Russell do his thing, a lot of times when it comes down to the crunch time, because when, when they was coming back, they was moving. Everybody was moving. Yeah. Russ was passing that ball. He passes that ball when cats move. What? But when you're not moving and you're running them isolation plays, what you want Yo, him to do? He's I'm nice. Not saying like people do the crunch time. Not mo- my pet peeve in basketball is when you continually make the same mistakes over and over and it, over. Isn't this and why over. they change coaches? Like, yes. And they doing the same damn thing. I saw. Right? Ru- I saw him Ain't in the front. Nothing fr- changed. I saw why him get it. Why is that? What was the, Who's the man that always has the ball in his hands? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Russ, Russ is playing better passing like, that ball. He is, he is. He is. He is. I didn't even know his field goal percentage is as high as of his career. I didn't know that either. Here's the thing about yeah. Russell Westbrook. The smartest coaches in the NBA use his aggressiveness and his tenacity against him. You understand what I'm saying? In the playoffs against big-time teams, you find a way to let Westbrook wild the hell out and leave everybody else out of the equation. Out of the equation, he's gonna make mistakes at critical junctures of the game, and that's why Golden State was able to pull out that victory last night. Now, let me assess what? the whole. Let me let me assess <laughs> let me assess the whole situation um, with this team. A couple of years ago, I I identified these two teams on a late night. I'm watching these guys. <laughs> what the? No 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 no. This is what I'm saying. Let, let me. I'm a late night. On a regular season game, two years ago, before every, anybody even thought about Golden State being a contender, you watch these two teams go at it. You, it's so much talent on the floor. It's not even like they playing the same sport that we watching the Knicks play or the Nets. It's not a. It's not a. It's not. There's a, no reason to take a shot at the no, Knicks, right? Even the Lakers. <laughs> I'm like, yo, it, the, yo, it's like you're watching a totally different sport. The talent level is ridiculous. So going into it, I knew it would be a bad matchup because when you think about it, the top three players in this series. Two of them belong on OKC. You understand what I'm saying? So that alone allows them to stay in games. They're not going to get phased by Golden State going on these crazy runs because Westbrook and Durant could single-handedly come back or bring their team back, score 20 and a quarter, whatever. But the thing is that Russell Westbrook, dude, he has to fall the hell back, man. Okay? (laughs) Kevin Durant scored 40 points on 25 shots yesterday. Easy work. He destroyed. He was destroying. Easy work. What? My thing is, if they had that dynamic where everybody knows it's Kevin Durant's team in crunch time in the fourth quarter, instead of having 40 points, he might have had 55 well, well, points. Well, let me, let me ask you a question because one of my biggest takeaways was Cantor needs more run. Uh-huh. And, and, and I saw that Livingston is, is really the difference maker of that team. But I saw Kevin Durant barking on somebody yesterday. He was all in Cantor face all night. Well, that's why, the problem. Why, why doesn't he get in Everybody's Westbrook's face? Everybody's scared of Russell Westbrook. That whole so organization is, that, so, is so, scared so, of Russell so is Westbrook. That, is that Westbrook's fault? It's not Westbrook's fault. I just think these two have to be separated. In order, I, I agree, in order for Kevin Durant to reach his full potential, he has to be see, he has to be playing with a more pass-oriented point guard. Well, speaking of a pass-oriented point guard, but he just so happens to average 28 points a game. Thomas Jefferson, high school zone, Shamari Pons, come step to the stage, yeah, man. Yeah. Step to the stage. Yep. You know that clapping joint on him. Damn, and we're giving the class on this. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's going on, brother? Welcome, got, welcome, got welcome phone? to the locker room. Welcome, yeah, yeah. welcome, welcome. So I don't even know. First of all, I mean, I wake up this morning and I'm hearing somebody stole the ball last night and hit clutch free throws and scored 31 points against Christ the Kings. Is that you, my man? <laughs> How'd that go down, it's man? Yes, yeah, step to the mic. Oh, sorry. Hello, yeah. say something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little technical difficulties. We got it's it though. Right. Would you tired from last night, man? They had that defense on you or something? <laughs> no, I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So what's going on, man? How's everything, man? It's good. Everything's going good. So uh, 28 points a game. One of the top players in the city, in the country, actually. What made you decide to uh, stay home, going to St. John's? Well, I mean, I felt it was the best decision for me and my family. Yeah. And Chris Mullins, he's, he's going gonna bring, to bring a lot for me in the future. Speaking of which, I was, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm watching, you know, I'm watching you game. My stepson talks a lot about a lot of players. He told me about you. So I'm like, let me go check him out. And I'm saying, like, yo, one thing I noticed, whether you down 20 or you up 20, you got the same facial expression. You Sometimes I got a little frustrated. So I was like, yo, why is he so cool? He's too cool for me. I want to see him get mad. And one game, last game I saw you play, you threw your head, you know, you took the uh, the headband off. I'm like, yes. You actually remind me of Chris Mullen. Wow. 
Wow. The hesitation wow. dribble, the jump shot, and the demeanor. How do you feel about that comparison? Well, I mean, it's a great comparison. That's my future coach, so I, don't, I just try to go out there and play the, the same every game. Have you watched any of Chris Mullins' games? Have you seen that boy play? That boy was good. No, nah, I just watched highlights. <laughs> man. Oh, okay. Made, he, you know he was on the dream team. Listen, Golden man. Golden State, shot sweet. Shamar, you a little cool. We got we to gotta loosen you up. You, you acting too cool for me. So, <laughs> I, got, I, I, got a I got a question for him. You I got a call. question. Whose game do you most identify your game with? Whose game in the NBA you most identify your game with? Curry. Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah. Definitely. This kid shoots from half court, you, too. You, oh, I was about to say. You shoot from half court? court. Yeah. You got the quick release? Nah, I just shoot for math though. Sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. That's a good. That's a good comparison. That that that's a boy to aspire to. Definitely. Yeah, I got a quick one. What is it with your game right now? If you said one thing that you need to work on to take you to the next level, what would it be? Well, I need to get stronger and faster. Good, stronger good, and yeah. faster. Um, you want to be able to take it to the um the basket a little bit more than you usually do. I mean, I just want to be like play more physical for the next level. Colleges ain't. It ain't gonna be like same as high school, so. Uh huh. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that. He I gets like to the that. line, so. Yeah, I definitely love players he, 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 he that get to, to that foul line, man. He That's a very line. underrated thing. A lot of cats don't realize your scoring average goes up way more when you get to that line. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. I, I've said this a million times on the show. Whenever, especially when we got uh, college and high school players on, and people who went there, St. John's is my favorite team. Have you been watching them this year? <laughs> 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 and seeing what's going on with them this year? Can you go play now for them? Can you? And then after that, can you like, take Calderon's spot too? Yeah, go yeah. play for the Knicks. Can you do that? And then, we, and then we need that to happen too. Because yeah. also Nick Fan and Calderon, he got to go. So when you finish with that, we need we, they need some help too at the point guard position. But on a serious note though, how was the whole recruitment process for you? Like I know, how, how was that, the feeling? Like in, like who reached out? Uh, the, the assistant coach, Matt, he reached out. And then I just got started talking to Chris Mullen more. Was that like the only um? Was that your top choice going in to the whole? It was. It was. It was. It was at the top. Yeah. It was four other schools though. Oh okay. Four okay. other schools. Can you name them or? It was you... um Minnesota, Creighton, Providence, and St. John's. Oh okay. All right. Well, I'm very happy you decided to stay home. Bro. <laughs> now, very you, happy. Now you said you've watched St. John's this season. How do you feel you personally can help them next season and be successful? Well, I feel I pretty much think I could bring like scoring to the team. And like some type of leadership. Oh, okay, you think they missing a lot of leadership? Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. This Listen. kid is real confident. Right Listen, here. Let, me, let me, let me, let me. I'm gonna shake. I, 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 watch, I, I, watch I believe, me. You see, this is what I'm, I'm looking into his eyes, and I believe him when he's talking. Watch you know me, what I mean? watch me shake. His, watch me shake his confidence up right now. Watch this. <laughs> I heard that you're a fabulous fan, right? Yeah. Favorite rap. Why is your favorite rappers? Punchlines. Yeah, punchlines. Give me three fabulous punchlines with a basketball reference. Oh. <laughs> Don't help him. I'm watching y'all. Don't help him. Don't help him. Don't help him. I don't know. I can't do think of do 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 that's, that's, that's a hard question. That, that's he's a, a, he's a, a it's not. Come on. I, I can help you. You need a little help? Yeah, I got be I don't I, mean, I don't you know. Need a little help? Yeah. Do we gotta call uh, Rashad Dunn over here to help you? Boys get hurt like boys get hurt like Kobe. Oh you heard that one. I just wanna make oh! <laughs> sure. I just wanna make sure oh, I, I don't remember that he, one. He's a Kobe I, fan, so I remember that. Kobe or LeBron? Oh. 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 So, so, I got so, it like that. So, so. Listen, you compare yourself to Steph Curry. One thing that I love about Steph Curry is that he's a killer in the first quarter, just as much as he's a killer in the fourth quarter. That's why I don't rock with LeBron James. You know what I mean? So wait, so it's Kobe. So it's, it's he's, not he's Kobe. He's Kobe like. So it's not. I mean? it's not no, LeBron. he said neither. He's, he's he said Kobe neither. like. Quote him correctly. He said he's neither. A, he's a killer, man. He's that quiet baby face assassin. So man. who's your top three players right now, currently? Curry's number one. Yeah. Mm. And then you got um, Harden and um, I say uh, Melo. Mm. Wow. I got, okay, okay. Wow. So, <laughs> you, play, you, play, you play that position. Let me ask you something. Who's your top three point guards? Curry, Chris Paul, and Westbrook are getting in. Yes, yes, oh, sir. Okay. Westbrook okay. got to get in. That, that's everybody's top three, I would think, right now. Definitely. The, so, <laughs> is, 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 if you had a chance to. Pick your own team when you got to the next level. Would you play? Would you consider playing for the Knicks? Was, is that a? Yeah. Is that your dream? Or the yeah. Nets? The Knicks. <laughs> Knicks. <laughs> try, try, y'all try. <laughs> that is all I can do. The Nets could need a, could use a point guard too, man. Have you gotten a chance to play at the Garden yet? Uh, nah. Are you looking forward to? Looking to forward. Yeah, to make that home. Yeah. <laughs> make that home. Wait, so you guys are the number one team in the city right now? Just I know the um, the schedule came out for the borough. 
uh, I think you guys play um, Banica. Yeah. I got a little point guard that go over there that that goes to that school. Onu, Onu a guard. Uh-huh. I have to be there, man. Take it easy <laughs> on my boy. <laughs> but he, he gonna go at you. He gonna go right back at you too. But let me ask you a question: Is it any player or team that you feel like you know what? I gotta get, I gotta get a little extra sleep tonight because he's gonna try to guard me. He gonna get a little physical. Or he gonna try to come at me. Is there any player or any team that you gotta that or that you just get up to play for more? Well, in the or city get, or like who? Period. Period. Well, I say, I say the most, like, when we was out of town, when we was in California. Yeah. A team called Chino Hills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, they was they the number one team in the country, but we yeah. play hard, and we only lost by one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is there a particular player over there that's ranked? Yeah. Um, his name Lonzo Ball, number four in the country. Is he, um, he's a point guard? Yeah, number one point guard in the country. Well, what was oh, your okay. stats that game? I had 40. Oh. <laughs> I knew what he go had right. too. That's, go, that's go why right. I said it. Go, Listen, go reference, go you, you, you gotta plug yourself. I'm throwing you the alley. Do just, the alley. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> just throw it up. Uh, Y'all got something? Um, um, nah. So, um, did you watch the OKC um Golden State game last night? Yeah, I watched it. What What was your assessment of that game? Well, I feel like, I feel like. OKC okay, so didn't have no chance to win that game. <laughs> they have no chance. No they, chance. They, they they came storming back yeah, though, yeah. man. Yeah, they came storming back, but. I mean, they got too many weapons. Okay, see, I mean, Warriors got too many weapons. How, how do you feel those teams would do in the seven games? How, how how many games would it take for um Golden State to win? They it, it, it go to game seven. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, at least you give them seven. that. And if you, well, okay, this is one yeah, thing I, I, I want to ask you about. This is this whole Westbrook Durant <laughs> dynamic. We always have this debate on this show. Yeah. I want to know what do you feel about Westbrook and Durant? Do you think they will ever win a championship together, or should they just separate? I got a follow up question to that too, guys. Uh, I, th- I think they should separate. And why? They, they why both, do you think? They so? both want to like. They both want to shine. Like they both want to score all the points. Uh huh. And they, they ain't gonna win like that. Okay. Now, if you were a point guard playing with Kevin Durant, how would you maximize yours and his performances? What would you do different than what Westbrook does? I will play off of him. Oh, uh, okay. I will play off of him. Smart young man. I'm well, 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 let, well. Let's <laughs> let's let's bring this to closer <laughs> yeah. to reality because I've been to a few games and. Mr. Dunn likes to shoot the ball too. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So but he just said he would so, defer so, to so, KD as the point guard. Yeah. He would defer to KD. Yeah, you know I mean that's not gonna stop him from doing his thing. Uh, you know what I mean? I've but, seen him wave Dunn off a few times. <laughs> I've seen him oh, wave him off. Yo, yo, but you got got Dunn. No, check it out. Let's say you was on the team and you're the best player on the team, right? The best player on the NBA team. Okay. And then the second best player, it's top five player, but he keeps shooting a lot, making a lot of turnovers and mistakes. At what point, well, do you ever say anything to him about, yo, it needs to go through me? Do you ever have a, even if y'all were friends? Uh, I don't know. Like, we, we, the, we both the best players, so I don't know. We just got to, like, find a way. Or, or I'm going to try to bail you out. <laughs> or is that, in, in your type of situation, is that Bud? Is that the coach thing? Like, you know what? Maybe he should decide who shoots or who shouldn't shoot. I mean, like, he, like, he just, he, like, run plays for us. Like, get us the ball both, like. So we both could be happy. So it's okay. So it's coming down to the coaching. Yeah, basically. I think a lot of it is yeah. coaching. I think a lot of it is coaching. But it can't, you can't just blame but, Westbrook, but, man. But here's the thing, though. I want to know your leadership style. How do you? Um, you said you're a great leader. What what kind of stuff? Are you more like a dictator? Like, yo, listen, guys, this is how we gonna do it. Or are you more of an inclusive type of leader? Yeah, like I'm like. I don't like I don't like get on people like they just follow my lead. Like, oh okay. Like by like positive like oh. they follow. Do, my lead. Um, are you always like barking out orders to people, directing guys on the court and stuff like that? When sometimes, you sometimes not not most of the time, but like that makes oh, sense okay. with the players that he like, Harden, Melo, Curry. Yeah. yeah. They don't. They're not really vocal leaders, so that that makes they sense. By example. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, cool. So let me ask you a question. It's it's a big scandal going on with Louisville. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, and I don't even want you to um touch it too much, but. Let me ask you a question. Let's say with this big scandal that broke, and you you already did a verbal agreement to go to the school, right? Mm-hmm. And this scandal came out, and they can't make the postseason next year. Do you renege on your agreement, or do you go to another school? I go to another school. Good decision. <laughs> Easy. Good, de- good decision. Easy. Yes, well, it's real quick. We we need to see St. John's back in them. Uh, Back in them rankings, man. And, and I'm looking forward to that because I think you're going to bring that. Definitely. But um, I want to ask a question about the Knicks. You follow the Knicks? Good? Big no, time? Not, often. not really? Not really. Do, do you have a West favorite Coast. team? This West Coast team? guy over here. You just, you just, <laughs> Spurs? Oh, you, Spurs are your favorite Spurs? team. Wow. Do, do you Curry, the, your favorite player. Spurs, your favorite team. Well, He's stacking the deck over there in the West. <laughs> so before we get to our next question, so 
do you think the Spurs have a chance of beating Golden State? Yeah. Yeah? I think the Spurs are going to win it all this year. You oh, think so? wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Adriel, you have the floor. Hey, wait, hold up. <laughs> you just said you just knew OKC wasn't going to do nothing, and they almost won last night's game. Now you're saying the Spurs are definitely going to beat them, and they got destroyed by 30 points. I know, but Where is the logic in that assessment right there, man? Um, I know, but I feel, I feel we're going to get it done. You, you, is, is, it, is that just your fandom speaking, or is that like your basketball now? You, you speaking from your heart or your head with that one? Because it sounds like you're speaking from oh, your okay. <laughs> heart. But how, how do you become a Spurs fan, though? Like, yeah. who's from New York and is from a Spurs? My boy, my boy. How, how, how's that I know, possible? I know quite a few. Like my play. brother is a Spurs fan. Like oh, okay, okay. Who's your favorite player on the Spurs? Kawhi Leonard. Oh, no. Kawhi Leonard or Draymond Green? Draymond. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, he done like, like confused me. I don't, know that, man. I don't know if his people agree with that. They over there shaking their head. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Uh, what about um? I'm taking okay. I'm taking um Draymond over Kawhi right now because I, I just like the. The way he sets the personality for that team, he's Mr. Do Everything. There's really no matchup for him. Um, I, I, I like that. Comp- Plus, there's nobody on the Spurs that can match up with Draymond Green, man. I mean, I, I mean, just to talk about that, I would, I would say Draymond too. Like Kawhi, I've been saying to me, I feel he's, he's a, a little overrated. He's like a I just, player. he's a good player, but he's Jimmy Butler, part two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know wait, what I'm saying? Wait, like wait, he's Jimmy Butler. He's he played defense. He can score a little. Like, but it's not like nothing he does is so outrageous. But what I was going to ask you when he's talking about the Spurs, Barkley made comments about Duncan. He said Duncan is done. You think Duncan is done? Like, good, good, good question. No. Duncan he missed like seven games. You think he's, he's saving himself or he's he resting? Really, he, he re- that's but, like two it, weeks. But you got to know, <laughs> what's your definition of done? Because the thing I don't like with Tim Duncan is he's getting so much props for being a role player right now. He's no longer uh, <laughs> he's no longer the best guy on the team. He's like the, the fourth best um, player on the team. When Duncan, so when, so it, it depends. Is, is he done being when Duncan, see, see, an all-time great? Or, yes, he's but, done. But just saying but yeah, he's, offensively, off, yeah. he's probably the second best defensively. That's oh, why, yes. He, now, he's, yeah. the second, he's the second best defender. But, this, but, that, but that also means you're a role player. But this so is what I mean about playing your role. This is what I mean okay. about Kawhi Leonard. I feel he's overrated. He got to play with Duncan all these years. Duncan, when he was on that team this year, they was on an all-time pace for defense. Yeah, that's close to Duncan, man. Like, yeah, you're right. That's close to Duncan. Ask, ask KD if he's, he wouldn't have scored that forty on um, Kawhi. This is true. He wouldn't have scored no forty on him. This is huh. true. What he scored on Mike? Okay, like, he wouldn't he have scored him down. Uh, yeah, but what did they, what did they do to them without Duncan? I don't think I don't think Golden State would have did that to them with Duncan on the floor. I don't, I don't think you'd have just been running to the paint. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, we, <laughs> and I don't mean to defend Kawhi like that, but it's like. Duncan misses a lot of games. It's not like he's riding Duncan's coattail. When well, Duncan retires, play, he's not gonna win no when Duncan game. retires, that well, dynasty is done. But, but, well, <laughs> but, it's, but it's not like he's not won the, the finals MVP with Duncan. When there. Duncan retires, that dynasty is done. I'm telling you. That's when it started. That's when it will well, end. Well, speaking of Popovich, it was a big game this week. Everybody's talking about it. They're selling the tickets for $15. Lincoln versus Jeff. And Coach Bud and Kenny Kings and Selden. And uh, Pretlow, they they pulled the Popovich. They sat, <laughs> they sat my man down right here, man. I, what? How did, how did you feel? Well, so so they clinched. Mm-hmm. They clinched the uh, number one seed. So yeah, I want to know. How, down. Well, so how did you feel about that? that? I mean, did you want to play? I wanted to play, but I feel like it was a good decision by the coach. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, yo, we're, about to turn the, we're about to turn the cameras <laughs> over. I'm asking uh-huh. the real question. Let's uh-huh. get the real you, inside you, of. You, yeah. you, you, you're not one of those guys that just loves playing no matter what. If you're healthy, you, you, you gotta want to play, man. <laughs> huh? What, what, what are you gonna do? Just walk on the court? No, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah. listen to your coach, yeah. but you know some guys will try to argue their coach down because they just love playing that much. They love destroying their opponent. Right. They love competing. That much, you understand? What I'm saying, I just, me personally, I don't like this culture to where guys are okay with resting when they're when they're good. Like Popovich started this this thing because his players were old; they needed the rest. <laughs> I don't like young guys going along with that. Like when I was, I mean, you know, not to compare, I'm not a superstar athlete by any stretch, but you know, at that age, you want to keep going, you want to keep competing. If your body is right, if you're healthy. You, you know what I mean? I just don't like that mentality. Well, yeah, like, like you have I, I agree with him, but, I mean, let's be real. Tony Parker used to rest, too. It ain't like he did it to old players. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. Popovich just started it. I mean, what I'm old he started school, with with Duncan and all. Um, but but, but and Ginobili, to, Tony Parker was doing it. He's done it across the board. 
I don't like it, but one thing I had to get get used to with this new culture, sometimes you got to just understand this is where it's going. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. But dudes are playing more than they was playing back in the age. Like people playing in the Olympics. They play, people was, they playing AAU all year round. It wasn't like that in 1985. It wasn't like that. Dudes play in school. You know what I mean? So now dudes play more basketball. That Or uh, you see what happened to Derrick Rose. I'm not saying that's why it happened. But maybe all this basketball you playing, it takes a toll on your body earlier. And Butler might be starting to break down. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that. all this you playing all this basketball. You know what I mean? I, I, what's, yeah, I guess. What's, I guess. What's, I, what's, I mean, I mean, I, I grew up on I don't 80s, like it. I don't like and 90s it. basketball. And these guys played all 82 games all the time. It was nothing. I don't understand why it's such. I, I just think it's a mentality. Once you feed in to that mentality, it gets you. Because whether you rest here and there, if you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get hurt. Guys that get rest get hurt all the time. So it doesn't stop yeah. you from. Getting Getting hurt. I just think a lot of times, if you're mentally thinking about being hurt, you're gonna get hurt. Yeah, true. Um, true. One, one thing I want to segue to: um, you're a ball player. How do you feel about this NBA strategy of hacker? I was Shaq, just about go on. Hacker Jordan. How do you feel about that um, as a ball player? It's a, it's a small idea. What's the percentage at the free throw line? You know what you shoot at the line? Probably like seventy-eight. Oh wow! Okay. All right, all right. That's good. Okay. Um, what, what, what what's your percentage at the three? You don't know? Nah, but we we gonna stay at that question though. So you said you like you like the strategy. Yeah, that's a good, that's a smart strategy. The, the commissioner is talking about changing the rules. How you feel about that? Um, that's I for the panel too at these. I don't know why he should. Exactly. I um, do they do that a lot in high school basketball? Do they um adopt that strategy, hacking a poor free throw shoot? Do they do that a lot? Uh, have you experienced that? that? You can't do that. Like, what's the rules in place in um high school basketball for that? Like, I know they, they I know they go one and one. Uh-huh. Early, Early. Nah, yeah. but I, I, it's probably but, tech. Uh, you know, same thing. Probably yeah. technical fouls and stuff like that. Look, I mean, man, for that hacker shack thing, man, it's three or four players in the NBA that you do that to. Why would you change a whole damn rule for three or four players? Those guys are in the league, and you're expected to hit your free throws or get taken out of the game. And one of them just got a max deal, right? Yeah. Oh, and you're giving max players the guys who you got to take out of the game at that point, which makes no sense to me, but. Recently, Stan Van Gundy has been taking Andre Drummond out of the games. As dominant as, as, as he's been a monster on that court. Mm-hmm. But he's like, look, I'm going to take you out of the game if you're not hitting your free throws. We expect you to hit your free throws. Yeah, you no work. excuses. So it's take the tough love approach, do whatever you got to do. But I don't believe there should be a rule change. There maybe should be some tweaking because recently they started hacking players before they... When they were inbounding the ball. No, they were hacking players on the free throw line um, as a loose ball foul. If somebody misses a free throw, they'll just jump over the guy yeah. and be like, yeah. oh, it's a loose ball foul. And then you don't get penalized within that last two minutes um, um, section where you get penalized two shots in the ball. So, I don't know. I mean, people are getting real creative. It's just it's just part of the game. If you can't hit your free throws, you man, gotta go. you tough, gotta go. Tough, tough breaks with that. What, what was that? The, uh, Andre Drummond went to the line, what, 37 times in that, in that game against uh, – the Clippers yeah, was, or whatever, and yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, thirteen. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Oh, speak. That, that's ridiculous. I, I mean, I but I, I know for a fact, at least probably half this room or more than this room will hit more than that. <laughs> okay, thirteen for thirty-seven. Like that's just that's that's sad. That's ridiculous. And I don't, but I still don't think there should be a rule change on that. Now, nah, fourth quarter, I'm dead. I'm not hitting nothing, man. I'll be tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of shape. I ain't none. How was yo? I was at a that Elite Twenty Four experience, man. That was pretty dope. I saw a piece in there, which I think your mother. It was up there. It was it was pretty cool, man. How was how was that experience? I mean, it was a fun experience. That was my first time ever playing on ESPN. Wow, oh, yeah, that, oh, you okay. did your thing too, man. Thanks. And, and this guy dunks. He, he gets yeah. up too. How how tall are you? Like six one. Six one. Do you think you're gonna grow a little bit more? Yeah, I think yeah. I'm grow a little more. Like oh, okay, okay. Six three, probably. Okay, okay. I see where you going with this. 6'3", three, can shoot. I see, I see, I see six three. He, he love him some Curry, man. One thing Steph Curry. I see you going. I see. One thing Steph Curry doesn't do. Well, he's not strong enough to do. I remember you said you wanted to be a little stronger. Would you like to incorporate like a little post game into your game? Also, that's one thing you could improve on with Steph Curry. Does maybe you'd be even better than Steph Curry, man? Yeah, I think I think I like try to like fix all fix everything up in my game. Okay, okay. Now, you, don't, you don't got those weak ankles like Curry, though, right? Nah. nah that's that's that. Curry, Curry ankles is weak, man. I think, he, I think he went over to China and got some, some shots, got man. Some shots? Something, some, some, something fishy about that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come out. Another um, St. John's alum just walked in the building. Oh, yeah. You, you ever met Anthony Mason Jr.? 
He was on the show. He actually wants to meet you, so we're going to set that up. He's a former St. John's player. He's, mm-hmm. He should be up there in the top 15 and scoring or something like that. Oh, okay. See, we bring we bring people we together here at the locker here. room. The locker room. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, speaking of Steph Curry, um, ESPN is coming out with a lot of lists, and they're putting – a lot of young guys currently on all-time great lists. Um, are you a basketball historian? Like, how much do you um, pay attention to guys like Jordan? I'm sure you're not, you're not old enough to really remember Jordan like that, right? No. Um, what about, like, have you watched highlights of games in the 80s? Like, what do you feel about, you know, stars from the 80s like Magic and Bird and Jordan or whatever? Like, how do you feel like, about them? I feel like they was more dominant than, like, the, the, um, the players are in now. Um, explain. Like, Joy, like, he just had a killer mentality. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, Check it out. Shamari, real quick, not to cut you off, hey. Come in. This is, this is the legendary St. John's Anthony Mason Jr. He's meeting Shamari Pounds. <laughs> this is a great <laughs> moment on the locker room. Yeah, yeah, right take here. that picture. That's pictures, man. Yeah, that's a great lo- moment yo, in the locker good. room. Right yo, say, yo, right, right. Yo, yo, step to the mic, step to the mic. Tell him, talk to him, man. Like, this is interesting right here, man. Get his young brother some advice. Let him know what he can, what can he expect at St. John's. Yo, yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, get us, get us true point guard and then we ready for that. Yeah. Because, you know, following my senior, you know, it's going to be good. But, you know, I'd rather give you advice just on the college life. Yeah. yeah. Just come up there and take advantage of what you're getting. You finna get a free education. You're going to get a free $100,000 million facility to work hard as you can and mm. get to your goals. So take full advantage of it. Don't get caught up in all the other melee. Because you're going to be Shamari Puns, though, no matter what. You feel me? Shamari, you got any questions for him? Yeah. Uh, not really. He's <laughs> <laughs> a shy guy. He's a little, you know. Nah, but he's an assassin cool. on that court. This is even better. Be shy. Yeah. 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 Be shy and be, be humble. Yeah. Be shy, you yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. Make sure just your drive is towards, you know, getting your books. And, you know what I'm saying? Take advantage of that uh, education because I did. I graduated. But I was just hooping. Now I'm doing film direction, editing, production. So, you know, you got to be able to ready to transition when you can. Be working on stuff, building your brain. Because the doors of basketball open. I mean, basketball opens so many doors. You feel me? Not mm. just, you're not just going to be some art huh? you're a basketball player. You're a business. You know? No doubt. You're a brand. So you build it up. You know what I'm saying? So everything correct. This is a guy. This is a guy. And this is coming from a guy that's played on every level. <laughs> about to say message. Yeah, for real. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. be in New York City. This your hometown. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when you start killing, it's gonna be. Let him know what to stay. What to stay away from. Him. Let him know what to. Thunder River. Thunder <laughs> 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 River. And it's good. You don't got to worry about uh, Syracuse with that two-three zone and nothing. You good now, over here, man. They, they ain't the same Big East over here like it was. Back yeah. when you was playing, man. Yeah. Mace, hey, man. I, ask, I thank you for that, man. I really like to bring things together, man. I nah, know you said you want to meet them, and sure. you know what I mean? Yes. That's yes. good, man. Wait, good wait, stuff. wait. Before you leave, who you got today's game? Super Bowl. Come on, man. Just got to hear. We, I just want to hear. <laughs> I hope it ain't no Denver fans. Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> on, man. Not you. Even if you're a Denver fan. Oh, Denver. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you a cool Christmas. Yo, uh, listen, man. I, I don't think he need to be starting. Man. Don't, don't start him next year. I ain't want him to be Brady like that. You know, I, Brady, my man. Brady, my favorite quarterback. I think he like you know top quarterback at this time. You know? But yeah. Cam, it's Cam time right it's now. It's Cam time. I'm glad it's though. It's they. It's paid many that he finna take down. Ah. I mean, it's reasons. <laughs> nah, it, it ain't, it's just reasons. I'm just glad that it's paid. It's, they, <laughs> oh, that's, it's that's, the big that's hope that's for him. Paid. You know, it's paid many like. Wow. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. Shamar, you like Denver? Yeah, Denver. Is that your team, or you like them for today? No, I like today? them for the game. Uh, who's your Who's your football team, though? Green Bay. Okay, okay. Let me, okay. Let me get this, man. Yes. And I went to Jeff, too. So, yeah, this is my man right here. Guys, I see you got a question. Hey, you got um, you think Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady? Yes. Oh, oh nice. really? This back now, back off. <laughs> <laughs> back off. I'm glad we're talking football. We let's talking go, let's football. go. Let's end, let's end this with some football let's stuff. It's, it's, it's Super Bowl Sunday, man. 50. Yo, what you think about the little beef between um, the cornerback from uh, uh, Carolina How about- and, and, and Emmanuel Sanders from, from Denver? I'm going back and forth saying, you know, he's overrated. He talked himself into being so nice. He's not really so nice. That's what Sanders said. And then you know your man Norman came back on something. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm that dude. No one's talking about you, so I guess you're not really that good. 
That's a little interesting. Yo, it's going to be real good matchups today, man. That defense, both defenses, it's I'm gonna looking close. It's going to be closer than people think, man. It's nah, going to be closer yeah, than people think. People, so, people think it's going to be a Cam blowout, but it's going to be close. How many footballs does Cam give away today? Kitties need the footballs. <laughs> Three. Three? Three. Three, three touchdowns. Three Yo, touchdowns. but check this out. I don't, you know, you know, two weeks ago when Denver played New England, they had Tom Brady confused. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's like, that ain't easy to do. Now, Cam is athletic, good, MVP, but he ain't smarter than Tom Brady today. Oh, no. He's better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this dude, this dude coming with some oh, ill points going. today, man. I agree with you totally. One thing I noticed with a lot of- This is way too confusing of, for me. They didn't one, never agree. No, this is the thing. <laughs> one thing I noticed with a lot of Carolina games this season, first of all, they had one of the easiest schedules all season. But one oh. thing I noticed with Carolina is- <laughs> <laughs> One thing I noticed with, with, with Carolina is that people never pressure. Cam Newton is never under pressure. When Cam Newton first got in the league, teams would just blitz him crazy and we would continually make mistakes. This Denver Bronco defense is one of the best defensive defenses I've ever seen. And I really think ever? they're going to put pressure I've <laughs> ever seen. I'm telling you. Like, John Elway saw what Seattle did to them a couple years ago, and he was like, yo, I want me one of those. And guess what? He got him <laughs> he one, of those. one of those. <laughs> so so I, think, I think it's not a slam dunk that Cam is just going to dab on him like everybody think that. Yeah. Yeah, Mace. Like you. G- give me a score, Mace. Give me a score. What's the score? You next, Shamari. I need a score. I don't want to see a lot. 28-13. 28-13. Wow. Samari, what you got? 28-14. Denver. Denver. Wow. Denver? What, what? Denver? <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me your assessment on um, why you think Denver, um, why do you think Denver's going to beat them so bad? Because they defense. They go, I think they're going to shut him down. Yeah. 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 Small kid, man. I like this kid right here, man. Let me tell you, you know what? Cat's out the bag. Let me tell you what this guy's doing over here. <laughs> what am I, he, he, what am wants, I doing? he wants Cam to win. So he's going to make Denver seem like the greatest team of all time. So next week, I told you Cam was going to do it. He, all adversity, he comes through. So don't fall for it, y'all. He wants Cam to win. He says he's picking Denver, but he really wants well, you know, to win. Well, you know why I'm, I'm picking? Well, I did pick Denver before the season started right, to right. be in this game. So you did, you did. I knew that this defense was going to carry him all season. So... I have a lot of respect for that Denver Broncos defense. That's the only reason why I'm really worried that everybody's picking Cam. Like, it, like usually in football, when everybody's leaning one way. So that's why you're saying this right now? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Get him, get him, no, get him. No, no, I'm just saying. That's, that's I'm, a I'm different point now. Don't do that. I mean, be a factual person. Don't be because uh-uh. uh, everybody leaning. Well, well I did bring up the whole way. thing with the defense. The no, thing I'm is, saying, but the truth almost just came out. We're here to the truth. The truth came out. Like, hold on. You know what everybody. I, t- I, t- I told you, I told you, I, I knew this guy for years. No, but, but listen, though, it's a mental thing. You guys are star athletes. You know when everybody's doubting you. Everybody's counting you out. And the thing about football more than basketball, it's such an emotional sport to where you all you need to be is that yeah, driven for that one game. Kill one him. game. Did you see that post this week? What post? Oh, look at this thug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, who yeah, posted yeah, yeah. that? I ain't see that. Oh, you didn't see that? They showed a little post that somebody said because yeah. Cam. Oh, that, I'm sorry. That's because it's on social media and we can't get you to get on social media. So <laughs> <laughs> another story. Cam the underdog right now. Oh, come yeah, on. Stop it. Cam Everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Talk about, talk about, talk about. He yeah, just stole yeah, your stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam is far from the underdog. It's like, <laughs> he may not be the underdog, but what, I, what he probably trying to say is, it's a lot of people that want don't want him to win. Oh no, yeah, this oh, like, is definitely for his big, downfall. Big, big but if you listen yep. to all the hope, real quick, I don't want to say. They, 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 yo, some of these former football players, the Raiders guy, all these guys, yo, they said they hate Cam Newton. They, they oh, yeah. hate him. Why? But, Why? The style. Cause, no, no, no. The way he's doing it. Yes. I'm all in, I'm all in on Cam. Like listen, yeah. listen. Persona he has. Yeah. But he's doing hard work. Here's my question, P.S. If if NFL is a copycat league. Yes, sir. Cam Newton and them went right now. They're seventeen and one. Their record this year, and if they win the Super Bowl and win it, now will they start copying him? They will try, but you they can't. can't. You can't. This, this not Cam's just walking around. You know what I mean? See, Cam is unique. You know what I mean? Cam is not just athletic. He's strong. The thing about Cam is he's strong. He's big. It's hard to get him down. But a lot of people don't like Cam. Elephant in the room because he's a black man doing his thing and he's not ashamed of it or to say anything about it. Yeah. But at the same time. I mean, like I said, Denver defense is good. You could be great as you want to be. You start getting hit a couple of times under pressure, 
you know, you're going to react to it. Your human nature is going to react to it. And I don't think he's he's never seen that this season. He hasn't seen Denver's defense this season. But I, you know what I mean? I wouldn't I want Cam to win, but I, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if Denver come out here and pull an upset. I would not be surprised. So you walk in there joint. Yeah, I mean, I like Manny. I like Manny. You know, maybe his brother got me two rings at the time. I'm always going to like the Manny. <laughs> <laughs> we got two rings because of that family. Cam worked hard, too. I remember, uh, not to go over it, but I used to work at this place down in Florida. Every summer we saw Cam. This one, he <laughs> wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, when he first got in the league. Yeah. So I be thinking, like, just his work acting, you can see it through how he plays. Yeah. That he just prepared for this. This is time. Yeah. Like the, his today entire is gonna be that day. The entire team took on his personality. Yeah. And I'm is working for them. Yeah, they all exactly. having fun. When you see the clips from the locker room, from what they're doing, they're having fun. Like, and the, the, the NFL Golden is State. the no football league. Exactly. It, it's the Golden no State. fun league. So it's like, <laughs> no. you know, yeah. our cats gonna start having fun again, man. Yeah. It's a sport. You know what? That's an interesting point you made. That <laughs> I, I ain't like really, you just know he up to something. I, I ain't really acknowledge that, <laughs> but. Just like what you said, how Cam inspires his team, I think that's one of the biggest things that he's brought to this Carolina Panther team is that these guys are following him, man. Yep. And I think in a lot of ways they're doing things that they normally wouldn't. If they didn't have a guy as inspirational as Cam Newton, they wouldn't be doing these, these things. So they kind of playing above their heads. That's why I'm kind of leery. I'm not going to go definite that um, Carolina's going to win, but I definitely, I definitely see that. Cam's leadership is shining through. Um, ten four right. Leadership signing through. Fashion not. The pants. <laughs> oh, the pants is crazy. Again. He needs to just walk around with a Paul oh, shirt. Oh, oh, what about you, man? You gonna be Listen. doing that Russell Westbrook, Cam Newton style when you get big time, man? No, not at all. <laughs> no, okay. These, these cats get Hollywood real quick with that. They get stylists, all types of stuff. He, he's from the borough. We don't. We don't want to. <laughs> yeah, we don't see do that, that in Brooklyn, don't, man. We don't do that. Not, I'm not. hoping even designer, this rapper, don't change up on me, man. Listen. We got a lot of we got a lot of New York City guards that went out with a bang. You got Marbury, you got Lance, Sebastian, uh, even my band Eugene Lawrence. Ooh, are, are we are, are we are we are we how we ending the season? With a chip. There, there you okay, go. There you okay. go. Give your give your shout outs, man. Shout out your people. Yeah, shout man. out your peoples. Get Everybody. Them. Shout out to my brother. Shout okay. Say their names. Say their names. Oh, they must got. We got warrants. <laughs> hey, he would say, say their names. Buddha and Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shout to Pop Dukes and shout for shout to Kenny Kings for putting all this together, Selden and all them. Any final words, y'all? Y'all got the floor. We got one minute. Super Bowl Fifty. Enjoy it. It's gonna be a good one. P.S. You got anything? Definitely Super Bowl Fifty, man. Let's make this. Hope this one is a classic. Hey, you good? Yeah, Mace, you got anything? You know, shout out everybody, man. Be very prosperous this year and positive. No doubt. With logic and reasoning, man. Uh, and we're going to excel. Yes, sir. How can I, 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 I can't even say I, that. How can you that. follow it up That's after beautiful. that, man? Locker room, baby. No doubt. Later.